All right, in this example, we're going to find the foci of the ellipse x squared over 12 plus y squared over 32 equals 1. And um, I'm going to write it so that the y squared over 32 is, is, is first. That's kind of just the more standard way of writing it. We tend to write whoever's denominator is larger first. Again, you don't have to. but uh, So a couple things here, and I think, again, it's just probably largely formula stuff, but there's a couple observations. So recall that the form is y squared over a squared plus x squared over b squared equals 1. This is when a is greater than b. Okay, so if a is greater than b, um, so I, again, I kind of look at whoever's denominator is larger. So 32 is certainly bigger than 12. That tells me that the uh, ellipse is going to have a major, uh, it's the vertical, the major axis will be vertical. Okay, so I know it's going to be a, a bit taller than it is wide. And again, you could find x and y intercepts and graph it and come to that same conclusion. Okay, so I know there's a major vertical axis. Um, so I know the foci are going to be along that vertical axis. So the coordinates of the foci are going to be 0, comma, c, or how we label them generically. And likewise, uh, this will be 0, comma, negative c. So the question is, somehow we need to figure out this value c. Well, again, the relationship that we use to solve, it says that c squared is going to equal a squared minus b squared. Okay, so this is the formula that we need. And again, it's just kind of recognizing that, hey, the foci are going to be sitting along the, the y-axis. All right, so now it's just a matter of solving. Well, a squared, okay, so a squared is going to be our value of 32. 12 is going to be the value for b squared in this case. So we'll have 32 as a squared minus 12 for b squared. Well, that says c squared equals 20. We can take the square root of both sides. We'll have to include our positive and negative. So we're taking the square root of 20. But again, we can write the square root of 20 as 4 times 5. Well, I can take the square root of 4. That's just going to equal 2. Can't do much with the square root of 5, so we'll leave that in there. So that simply now tells me that the foci are going to be located at 0, comma, positive and negative, 2 root 5.